Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Ben 10 plumber figure set, I guess I'm going to call it. It doesn't really have an official name. It has, uh, what is it, Pitalidae, Driba, Blue Kick, and Solid Plug. If I pronounce any of those wrong, I'm sorry. Their names, up to this point in the show, have been said very little to not at all. But um, this is a set of basically some of the figures you get um, in some form in like the play sets, but uh, the, the Toys R Us exclusive that they actually released just the figures in a set, which is really nice. Um, and these are some of the various characters you see around the main plumber base in Ben 10 Omniverse. So I'm just going to take a quick look at the packaging, because it's kind of neat, I guess. Uh, as you can see, this is only at Toys R Us. You get a bit of the plumber base here. It says their names at the bottom. All of the colors and stuff are pretty much in line with the show. Um, on the side here, you get an image of them from the cartoon. On the other side, same image. And on the back, it shows you who they are. Um, and then the first wave of the Omniverse collection. So that's cool. Um, the only one that's really more of an alien collection figure is this guy here. Um, the other ones are just kind of like little mini statues. But so I guess we'll take a look at him first. Obviously, you can tell he is uh, Rip Jaws. I mean, he's not Rip Jaws, but he is Rip Jaws species, which is really cool. He's kind of uh, like a more nerdy style Rip Jaws, which is really cool to see a different side of that race. He's like a little bit more intelligent. He got the glasses and it's got a more like, uh, like gangly look to him, I guess. And he's in a plumber suit. It's actually a really nice looking figure. I quite enjoy it. It looks pretty decent. It looks like not quite as, um, you know, popping with life as some of the other ones, but it still looks like a really nice figure. Um, his articulation is 360 arms here, single joint here. His legs can move forward a little bit backwards, and his head can rotate 360, um, but it is blocked by this back piece here, but so basically you get side to side movements, which is really nice because you can actually get him some somewhat personality by looking sideways. I know that seems weird, but the fact that you can do that does give him more personality than some others. Um, like I said, the details on him are pretty good. As you can see, even here on his eye, they actually got uh, the purple and yellow uh, parts of his eye, which is just really nice. And the plumber suit's all painted nicely. The white and the black and the red contrast off each other nicely. And overall, I don't know, I just really like the figure. I like figures of sort of oddball characters like this, and I, I really enjoy it. So then these are the, like, gray matter people, uh, the Galvans you have working in the base. They're a bit uh, slower Galvans. They're kind of comic relief. You got this guy who's a little bit more pudgy. Here you can see he's wearing a plumber outfit as well. Looks like a fat gray matter, you know. He's got gray with the green eyes. But uh, there's no articulation on him. He's just more of a statue figure. But he looks pretty nice and does look like he just came right out of the cartoon. And they all have these like tramp stamps on the back. Um, and then you got this guy here which has quite a bit of personality. He's got like his little Timmy Turner hat to the side and like this little antenna piece here um, and then he's got sort of like sort of the Galavan equivalent of a beard going on um, and he's wearing overalls that are they're like plumber overalls because they're like they look like normal overalls but then you got like this plumber uh, bad symbol deal down here but like the other one he has quite a bit of personality I mean he looks very upset but they both look like you know they just came right from the cartoon which is always nice and then this guy if I'm not mistaken is actually one of the criminals that they chase around the uh, the base. I think I've seen at least one or two uh, little interactions of uh, plumbers chasing him around the base when he's escaped. Um, he's just kind of like this little purple brute alien um, with like this little Arabian vest on. Um, he's pretty bland compared to the others who have a little bit more details on him, but he's got at least like some details where they actually painted his eyes and such. And he still looks pretty nice. And I enjoy it. But so overall, um, this is a pretty short review, there's not a whole lot to say, but I actually really enjoy these figures, especially this one, I just, I think he looks really good and uh, it's just nice to have a, a figure of him and just all these guys in general, it's cool to have figures of sort of these off the wall, uh, oddball side characters you get in the series. Um, I just hope we continue to get more of them, even if they're just in like random exclusive packs. It's just really nice that we actually got them. So if you're like a huge Omniverse or Ben 10 fan, I, I can see it, uh, you picking it up as a little neat set. Uh, it's about 20 bucks at um, Toys R Us, so which isn't terrible compared to some of the other uh, gift sets I've seen there, so maybe pick it up or wait for a sale, but overall I still think it's a, a neat little set to have. It's nothing like must have, but I definitely enjoy it. So until next time, make sure you check out WritersRangesRambles.com for the Toku podcast that brings you Toku news in the craziest way possible. Until next time, it's Dawson Ryder, signing out.